Breaking news, my butterscotch biscuits, the US court has updated Richard Hart's SEC case to order to show cause. We have juicy crypto news today. I also have important news. Crapo is bearish. I repeat, Crapo is still <laughs> bearish, so we still have a lot of room to move. What's going on with the price, friends? I understand we did a bit of a pumping and a dumping and a pumping and a dumping. If we put on a four-hour chart. I mean, it's funny. What type of torture do we have to go through for some freaking green candles here? The pump, the dump, the pump of the dump, the pump, the dump, the pump again, and now we've dumped. Well, of course, this is exactly what markets do, friends. You just move around the washing machine. Remember, we went up enough to get data dash friend of the channel we, we went far enough to get data dash bullish then he went bearish down here all right then it snapped up against him again so this is exactly what's happening when you're in disbelief it's hope and disbelief recycling remember from the human emotion of hope and disbelief from the wall street cheat sheet now eventually you'll be able to see there is a point where it's no longer disbelief it's where you actually start to start to believe, it's called hope, right? Before you actually believe, there's a bit of hope because, oh my God, I hope we're gonna continue. It's almost like it's fooling us. It's saying to us, I'm gonna go so far to get you to hope that the US economy doesn't crack when the US Fed cuts rate this time. You're like, oh, oh no, we don't know what's going on, friends. We don't know what's going on. But I can tell you at some point, there's going to be a snapback. We all know it. It's funny. The fact that we all know, we're like waking up every day thinking, yeah, this is the day. This is the day. It's over. All right. So there's not much we can do. You know, the pri prices here, friends, are still very, very cheap for Pulse, Pulse Chain, Pulse Chain, Pulse X and Hex, real DeFi. So why I like talking about them is because it's like just, just market buy. Who cares? It's fine. It's easy. Now, not financial advice. Go do what you want. But you don't need to put a moving average. You can just DCA. It's fine. When it comes to something like Chain stink right now. <laughs> now, Chainlink has had a little glorious run. If you go look at it on the USD chart, you'll be able to see more of what I'm talking about as well. Because you're going to eventually need just the moving average, man. You have to put it on a put on a daily chart and go, well, I'm gonna buy the moving average. Yay. See, hard part is the moving average is gonna cross up as well. So there is no perfect point. But looking, you know, at least you're not buying 15 bucks. You get to buy it cheaper. I know it's not much, but look, just stock standard, friends. In altcoins, personally, I don't want to buy anything, even in a bull market, until I see like a 50% snap somewhere. Maybe we're only going to get a 30 or 40%, but like bare minimum 30%. And by the way, I'm not saying it's going to definitely going to go to 11 bucks, but that's just me. I don't even care if it goes up. It just, I can't live with myself. But remember, if you're going to trade, completely different story. This is for long term. I just, I just hate buying other people's bags. That's why green candles, friends, they're... Therefore, cheering. They're not for acting. So what happened with the SEC? Well, the judge, baby doll Penny, Penny quote, has basically updated the thing, the thing which says that we're going to serve Richard Hart. Okay, so this is the thing that was updated. Order to show cause. Now, I don't know if it was the judge herself. It doesn't really matter. So the corrupt SEC now has to tell judge baby doll Penny why Richard Hart hasn't been served. So there are alternatives. The, the corrupt SEC, they might actually have to use the blockchain that they're trying to send to zero. And they could airdrop everybody on Pulse Chain or Ethereum the NFT of the serving of the papers. That is viable because they're like, well, there's a high probability he owns some of these coins we're going after him for, so he's going to see it. That's one alternative they can do. There's other things they can do as well that they have uh, done before. I think somebody actually did get served with an NFT. They sent it to an address, and that was a proof, but they haven't done it right now. But what you want to do, you just want to stall it, right? I know all of all of us, we're like, wanting to get it over and done with. No. If fake DeFi Uniswap, Hayden is listening with his little pencil neck, you understand you are backstabbing the industry. This is how you fight for crypto. You stall you pretend you are redacted. You tell them, i got a peanut brand. Golly J, Uniswap. Oh, I don't know. Is that a unicorn logo? Excuse me. Do I like to get spanked in the bedroom? Maybe I do. That's how you speak to them, you idiot. You don't. By the way, I don't call people idiots, friends, but you know what I mean? I'm punching up here. Just telling you. All right. 
Stop trying to backstab the people. This is how you do it. You delay and delay and delay and you stall it. If they want information from you, you don't just give it to them on a platter. You make them have to work for it. They don't want to do their job, friends. They are they're under control from the bug eaters. Do you understand? They are doing this evil bidding to get promoted. They aren't in the powerful spot yet. The bug eaters want them to be motivated, but the bug eaters have got to keep these guys squashed. If they give them too much power, then they don't need to go up, do they? All right. That's how the system works. Of course, you know how it works, friends. Every single power structure works like this. All right. So shout out to Corey who asked this question to nuclear herbs, right? I don't know what you are, friends. I would love to snort you a nuclear herb. Yes, that's right. Snort. All right. So this SEC thing is a bullish for Pulse, Pulse X and Hex. I think it is to me. Whether it, whether he does end up getting served or not, that is not the point. The point is we're delaying, pushing it forward. We're using the full length of time. Friends, do you know how, how corrupt the legal system is? I mean, I mean, I've heard stuff of like, well, if there's a murder or an assault case or any of these like bad things that go on, if you delay and delay and delay, people's memories fade away. They forget the pain. They just want to get it over and done with, right? So this type of the things that they're manipulating humans here. Where in the world is Ricardo Corazon? I would like to know. We're here to crank it, friends. Don't forget why we're here. We're here because Crapo is bearish. Still bearish. Friends, have a look at this, man. Can you see this? You see that top number? That's 74,000 subscribers. There are 74,000 plebs who are still unprofitable who are hanging on someone's word who's literally been bearish since the bottom. Now, look, honestly, out of all the bad things out there in crypto, Crapo is nowhere like on that scale. He's it, it, it become a fun meme. It's just, it's so easy to target. He's a little bit of a bitch. Like he blocked me, he blocks everybody. So when it comes to this, we are just having fun. All right. So it's not to be bad, but I love seeing this. It's a free signal. The fact that Crapo... And Data Dash, Nick, the fact that they're still bearish, it tells you, oh, we haven't gone far enough yet. We haven't gone far enough to trap you, all right? What would be far enough to trap them? Just my guess. You see this $48,000 line? I think if Bitcoin goes, trades at 50, oh, now we're trapped. Because how are we going to trap? Because people will think 40 is the level on the way down. We might be in for a rude awakening where it actually breaches under 30 and touches 29 or something. That would be a trap. Do you see that? See, I just went to, took you to this emotional swing right here, right? Now, there's no guarantee we get it. We could just do slowly, friends. So I just want to remind you, this is the most important part. Everybody's waiting for this. I'm just telling you, every single person is waiting for 40 to 50K Bitcoin. Now, in my experience, and I don't know anything except eating peanuts and sitting on squeaky chairs, in my experience, when everybody is either waiting for a crash or waiting for the euphoria, you get the scenario in the middle where it's, no one wins, okay? It's a staircase. It's a staircase and a slow buildup. That's why I kind of feel like if 2024, everyone's waiting for the crash and, and we just get a slow buildup and then at the very end, we burst up, everyone thinks, wow, this is now just about to get started. And that might be the turbo trap of all traps because just as everybody thinks it's just getting started, okay, now it's time to finally get out. But of course, we don't want to talk about that because maybe the numbers are not as high as we think. Look at the language here from Crapo. Whether you like it or not, whether you want to look away or not, this is what's been happening all year. He's talking about Tether and the printing, yada, yada, whatever, friends. I've heard it all before. Who the hell cares? Whatever. You want to send us a zero? You already did it, man. We got no hope left anyway. Now, I want to put a friendly reminder, a friendly, important reminder. Please, this goes for every single community. Pulse Chain, Pulse X, Hex, Chainlink. I don't care where you're from. Even if you're in Polkadot, I don't care, okay? This is a warning. This is what's happening in the bull market. You understand? You're going to get exploited. Don't follow these poopy heads. That's why you like, subscribe, belly button, or because I'm not selling you anything. I don't care about what they care about, which is abusing you for money. I'm mean, here as your friend. Don't put your money in stake.link, these dudes. Now, I didn't get blocked. It was someone else, but it's the same pool. So link pool, if you know, I was a fan of link pool. Then you know what the bastards did? They freaking rugged it. They literally minted the coins. You got diluted like eight to one. You got destroyed. Like these scum, these people literally should be put in jail, right? These piece of trash, subhuman filth, cockroach, garbage. 
Ugly people. All right. Ugly, ugly, disgusting. They're soy boys. They're cucks. Their wives haven't been home for three weeks. You understand? So they're going to rug again. One day it's going to rug. Very sad. Unfortunately, it's likely the same people who did the rug pull on Link Pool and Bancor who are involved with this. Now, I don't have any evidence. I don't really care. Just assume the worst. Now, you're probably wondering, wow, if people are signing up to this, the yield must be huge. Nope. No, it's a, it's a 5.8% per year. Now, I want to tell you something. If there's 12 to 24 months left in this bull market, right? 12 to 24 months, and you're only earning 5%-ish on something, let me tell you, that will, is risking 100% of your stack worth it to grab only like 5%? No, it's not. So you are risking... Risk is, this is, how you, this is how you analyze all things, friends. You got to listen. You're risking 20 units, all right? You're risking 20 units for a reward of real of one unit. This is bad no matter what. I don't care if one or two years, one of these people cures cancer. I don't care. I'm telling you, you play this game enough times as a speculator, you will lose eventually. And the sad part is the longer you get away with it, the worse your loss is because you are growing over time. So when you actually risk, your 20 units of being risked of today might be 20,000. There are people out there, oh, I've got $20,000 total. Yeah, yeah, $20,000. You have $20,000. Okay, you're risking 20K to make, what is it? Nothing, 500 bucks, trash, one grand, okay? Because remember, it's not going to rug you at the very end, all right? It's gonna be worse at the end. Now, in the future, if you, if you don't learn this game now, maybe in five years, you're not risking 20K. I, I'm praying you're risking like 600K. All right, so now you know, all right, I'm risking 600K to make 15. All right, it doesn't kind of work out. That's why to make it this far, you have to have this level of thinking. And that's also why, friends, like that's also why the Bitcoin maxis, for example, they believe that there's just too much risk with Ethereum and the decentralization not working in their mind, okay? But in my opinion, They've overblown the risk because because we had so many examples to show like, yes, there is a risk there. Yes, maybe Vitalik is an alien. Maybe he's trying to do different world stuff. Okay, I understand that. There's compromisations everywhere. But the levels of compromisation and how fast it's going, in the Bitcoin Maxi's eyes, they're like, well, yeah, we know it's taken forever, but one day, one day you all go to zero. Like, all right, man, you understand? Like, there's a level for everything, but you got to respect that there is a risk curve. However, you can't deny this. If you let me buy Bitcoin at 120 bucks, I'm going to tell you everything's risky. Everything. Because you got to buy my bags. Max Kaiser bought it at a dollar. Of course, he's going to tell you everything's risky. You understand? So that's the thing. Also, when someone's coming in late as emotional money, they're going to tell you that nothing is risky enough. They're like, I need 30x leverage. I need to buy the poopiest of poop coins. I don't need to buy Peppy. I need to buy Peppy's poop. I need to buy the floor that Peppy's poop lands on. That's the type of risk that they have to take. All right, now, I'm going to crank you with some laser beats, all right? This is the chain link chart. You see this? See this, friends? This is a little friendship, pup of justice. I want you to know something, though. From today, what you do is you grab your, you grab your ruler, right? You, there's a ruler tool here. You can press it. If you're using a keyboard, if you like keys and boards, friends, you can use it, hold shift on the keyboard and then just go up to the target. All right, now I'm going to do $100. Yeah, I hope it gets there. I hope it blows $100. All right, now $100, you see that, 660%. Now I want you to think of this, all right? You're risking, so let's give it two years, all right? So December 2025. Now you're risking... 670% comparing it to, say, 5% times 2, which is 10%. You can see the wealth creation is the greater fool theory, the Ponzi pump. That is more people coming in and buying your coin or your asset or your share or Apple, or Amazon. You need more people coming in. That's it. You need more buyers and sellers. It doesn't matter how you spin it. You can't get secret ways of doing the inflation or this other stuff. It doesn't really matter. It never works out. We've tried a thousand times. All right. You need more people coming in to believe. That's where you're going to make your money. So all these other little yield risk and all this other stuff, don't worry about it. It doesn't matter. And especially, look at this, friends. You saw how viciously all crypto drops. 
if you're just waiting for everybody to take their pants off and you can see whether some people are circumcised or not, like if that's how badly the party's gotten, all right, you're counting who's been circumcised and not. All right, when you get to that point, you know, all right, all you got to do, you don't even have to sell 100%, friends, right? If you have your portfolio, you can you can trim 25%, all right? I'm not joking. You can just trim 25%. And I promise you, if there are people with their willies out and all types of genitals, I promise you there will be a pullback at some point. And it won't be just a pullback. It'll be a pullback that turns into a dip, that turns into a crash, that turns into depression. <laughs> all right? That'll eventually come. That's when you can deploy that 25% that you trimmed down. Of course, you've got to pay a tax and all this other stuff, right? You will make up more than this little 5% yield or 10% yield you made up. You will, all right? Focus your mind on that rather than like, oh, I'm just going to like stake this forever. Okay, so this is the mindset you need in crypto while it's still here. Eventually though, I can't guarantees because, you know, people do this, they'll just route this off into the future. They go, wow, I'm going to be a trillionaire. No, you're not. No, you're not. No, you're not. I'm just telling you right now, there are enough emotional money, people sitting on the sidelines, okay, they are going to force prices higher than they should and then force them lower than they should. They're still there. You can smell it. <laughs> Friends, I've been sniffing chairs all week. And let me tell you something. Some of you people need to clean your chairs. you got stains everywhere. All right? These people, the hopium and the copium, it's still there. You, it, it's there. Okay? We don't have this in the stock market, by the way. Stock market, it's like, yeah, well, we're going to get a nice 70%. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, everybody's coming to crypto for the casino. So while the game is still here, you can play it another spin. I can't guarantee you, though, the spin after this pump and dump that we might get. Okay, I can't guarantee you that. And it doesn't really matter because we're kind of hoping by that point that the volatility on the downside is not as vicious. All right, so there is a benefit when this game is like kind of disappeared. And the benefit is that Oh, sweet. You don't drop 90% anymore. You only drop, I don't know, 75%, which is okay, friends, in crypto. 75% or 80%. We'll take 80%. You know, that's like hex only going down to 10 cents. Look at that. We're begging for 10 cents now. That's 5x higher than where we are. Or that's chain link, right? Chain stink. If it didn't drop to five bucks, it's only, it's going down to 10 bucks. Imagine that. And then a rally back to 20. So we would be all okay with that. It's just that. When you're dealing in the minus 90 to minus 99% zones, that's literally all your money is gone territory, all right? Hopefully, we get the upside first because isn't it going to suck all the people waiting on the sidelines who realize, oh my gosh, I'm buying at the end of a 18-year technology adoption and it was the fastest since mankind, so it's like I'm buying 60 years into the telephone or something, all right? Now, I want you to remember all these risks at the end of the day, they're always going to be there. But the biggest risk of all is not deploying. Make sure you like, subscribe, belly button, all. Guess who loves and appreciates you? Me. Catch you soon.